Greetings everybody, it's Rob, and we are here with the Marvel Champions, the Solo Champions League, Season 9, Round 4. This one, we are playing Ultron with the Power Drain Encounter Set. And our choices for this one is you must play Thor. Any aspect you want, but it has to be Thor. Which of course brings us to the interesting conundrum that is, Thor has lots of good minions, but can he solo it and keep everything okay for a good score so after some kind of back and forth i decided to go with justice so let us begin so everything is set up that's all play advanced stage 1b boom top card of the deck goes into play as a drone and take one of these and and Oh, let me take my seat and let us begin. So we draw five cards as Thor because it's Thor. Ooh, now we got some options here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I could play a Death Focus. I could play an Asgard. Right now, there's no threat, but it does advance on three threats. So basically. He can never advance. He can never scheme, basically. Um, I'm going to get rid of the counterintelligence and I'm going to get rid of Mockingbird. I'm going to keep these two for now. Okay. And then I'm going to search for Mjolnir. As my action. All right, so let's see what we can do here. We could play Asgard. We could actually play Asgard. Death Focus. Death Focus doesn't allow me to play. No. Okay, so then I could go Asgard and maybe I do a death focus keep the lightning strike for next turn to possibly lightning strike some minions down and then next turn if I get some way to control the threat flip that and pick up Mjolnir somehow my other option No, I have to play Asgard. Like, I need I need Asgard in play. It's important. So two, three to play Asgard. Then Ooh. Flip up. I'll attack to defeat this minion. That gets rid of the death okay, none of the focus in my hand. Seeing that I think I'm gonna play the death focus. Because death focus also means I could potentially I make the lightning strike free and I just need the resources for it. And then in that case uh, I could actually have gone No, I wouldn't have I don't, I don't have any resources, okay. I draw four cards. One on. He attacks me, so a drone comes into play. I draw two more cards from that ability. I am going to take it. So it's two, three, four damage. Five damage. And a counter card. Each drone attach attacks me, so I take one damage. After turn two. Okay. Now, see, I added Concussive Blow to this deck just because I think it'll be a really... It helps the confusion will help a lot. So let's do the math here. I can go... 1, 2, 3, 4... to play Nick. Draw three cards. 
and then potentially I draw three cards. If I'm playing Nick, I don't really need to bother about flipping down, I guess, right? No. I don't want to get rid of the Defenders of the Nine of Realms because I can use that to pay, play Concussive Blow. And then Concussive Blow will allow me to confuse Ultron. So then when I flip down, I can kind of get that extra security there. One, two, three, four. Nick Fury draw three cards. Yes. Oh no, not yes, actually. Ooh. I can play the van. But then I don't have enough to play concussive blow. Oh, I can go one, two, three. And then used the van to do a damage and a damage. I think I have to because I let me just double check. I, I, I do have two vans in the deck, but. Like, if I can get the van built up, van, death, focus, and Asgard built up, like, that's a good turn. You know? I think I'm gonna do it. One, two, three, concussive blow. So he takes three damage and is confused. Then. Either way, attack, however you want to do it, it doesn't really matter. But this drone will be defeated and this threat is taken off. And I want to keep under surveillance. Draw five cards. Okay, the hammer throws are useless to me. Beat up isn't bad though. So I can do like a hammer throw into some other stuff. As one, uh, goes to attack me, so a drone comes into play. I draw two cards because I got a drone engaged with me. Ooh, it's Spider Man. He'll attack. I'll block with Nick Fury. Two, five, six. Oh, actually, I should have took how much damage? I should have took two, four, five, six, seven. So I, I should be at seven for now, and then this week with six. I forgot that he gets a plus one from every drone. And an advanced ultra drone. Okay. Well, now. That makes things interesting. I really want to play this. I'm going to go one, two, Three, play Spider-Man. Plus two, so he has a four attack. I'll attack for four. That will defeat this god. So he gets defeated. Drone comes into play. I engage with the drone. I draw two cards. Right? Yeah. All right, that actually saves up a lot of stuff, thank god. I'm gonna go one, two, to play beat him up. To deal one damage to the villain and one to every minion. That gets rid of all the minions. And then one, two, to play the van. Which now makes this a seven threat scheme. And then I'll flip down and heal for four. Boom. 
Okay. I got six cards. Ooh, okay. The God of Thunders are here. I don't have a meal in there, but we can work with that. Adds a threat. No drone comes into play because it's only on the attack. Scheme Confuse breaks. And the counter card. Ultron Scheme. Discard the top card of your deck for each threat played this way. Two. Two. Turn four. All right. Well, we definitely want to fetch out Mjolnir. Get that in my hand. I'm going to use one of these and one of these to play God of Thunder. I can use that to pay Mjolnir. I might just get rid of both interrogation rooms, say forget about the interrogation rooms, right? And then just go... But interrogation rooms really helps because it allows me to like pick off threats quite easily. The double God of Thunders would be really broken. If I was a double God of Thunder. My other option is to not play Mjolnir. I mean, I'm going to get an encounter card, two encounter cards, but it may be possible. Like a God of Thunder interrogation room, God of Thunder, God of Thunder interrogation room. And I don't play Mjolnir, flip up, attack for... Four. Ready? Draw four cards. As a threat, as a drone, I draw two cards. Two plus three plus block with Spider Man. It's got three cards from your counter deck. Nice. Uh, it's a lot of damage. Either way, Spider-Man is defeated. Take a damage from the drone. And counter cards. Each player puts a top card drone. It's got an upgrade or support you control. I'll discard interrogation room. Not the worst, but it's what it is. So I can go this. I can go. Before I do that, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Um, do I want Quake or do I want Coulson? Here's my plan. Death Focus plus God of Thunder, Lightning Strikes, the minions off the board and does a damage to him. Right? So, I still have one God of Thunder left. Which I could use to play Interrogation Room. Or I can go two, three, four, play Colson. Yeah, I think that's my better. 
So we're going to go Death Focus, God of Thunder, Lightning Strike. There's one, one, one. Oh, before I do that, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Before I do that, what I meant to do, I meant to do the Terrigus Room first, then do the Lightning Strike. That way, I can use Interrogation Room to take a threat off the scheme. Then go to... Why does my math not work on this? Oh, no, I screwed this up somehow. What was... What was... What, what, what did I do? Oh, my plan was to go two, three, four, play Nick. Draw three. Use one to play interrogation room. This, this, a lightning strike. And then we have three cards. And it still doesn't matter, but Mjolnir. I guess. And I attack for three, thought for two. Okay. Draw five. Well, helmet would be big for getting a good score here. Adds a threat. Goes to attack. Gets a throw minion. I draw two cards. Ooh, blade in the house. A blade is a really good option as well. Attacks for three plus block with Nick. Good job with that. John hits me from one. Encounter card. Oh no. And now all these drones are now spending one of every type to get rid of it. That might be worth doing, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. That might actually be worth. I don't really want to do that. Because, like, the issue with that is. Okay, let's do this. Strength, God of Thunder, Concussive Blow. There's three damage and Confuse. That will keep him down. So I can flip down safely. I'll then... Use a Mental. An Energy. And a Physical. To discard this attachment. Then, I'll go two and one to play beat him up. One damage to everything. Navigation room removes threat. And then, flip heal for uh, four. Okay. I want to keep Blade because Blade might be actually be a really useful card to, do, to help do damage. As a threat, try scheme, can't. And encounter. Oh god, one card. Sorry. Encounter card. This card gains surge. This got two cards from the encounter deck. Two, three, four. At least I got rid of Shadows of the Past, so that's pretty good. Alright. I hate to say it, but I'm going to have to probably heal up. 
Like I'm actually hurting quite a bit here. Some want to play pull eight. This is used to. Oh no, if I do this, then Concussive Blow doesn't actually stun if I do that. That's annoying. Um, I can add our flight to remove all the threat. I'm not really worried about the two damage, I think, right? I can go one, two, three, cast a blow. But I'm wanting to. I do need to heal up, then flip up, then play concuss a blow. Three damage, confuse. And then. I think I'm gonna keep Agile Flight just because I can use that turn. Ready. Uh, draw my hand size. Okay, we have some things, but we also have a concussive blow, which can help keep him confused. Adds one minion that comes in. I draw two more cards. He attacks for two plus. So he's a three plus. Um, I'll take it. Three, four, five. Discard three from the encounter deck. So five damage, uh, yeah, five damage. And a seven, one from the drone. And a counter card. The villain schemes with confused breaks. Thank God. So see, it's worth it. Do I have a hammer throw? I don't have a hammer throw. Ugh. The issue is that once he advances to scheme to the his third scheme, his third stage, he pulls an Ultron's Imperative, which I think, if I remember correctly, is the one that it spits out two drones right away. And if you don't have a way to deal with the two drones, then, well, essentially you kind of screw that point. One, two, three. I do that though, he advances, right? Yeah. So if he advances, let's take this through. Two drones come out, and then there's three drones out. Thor attacks one. That's also becoming an issue. Concussive Blow will, will keep him stunned. But if I do that, I can then play Aerial Flight. And Aerial Flight would allow me to get rid of threat from Ultron's Imperative and some from the main scheme. And then I can use Lady Sif to have Blade attack a drone. Yeah, and, and I'll be getting much more anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From one, two, three, concussive blow. Confuse, three damage, so he advances. It's pretty, that's fine. Uh, Ultron's imperative. Comes into play with two cards. I guess I have chapels and then I get the second one. Uh, 
That's actually a good question, actually. How does that work? I'm gonna see if anybody answered that question. I'm gonna say the second one comes in. I'm assuming it does. Right? It has to. And then I gain two cards because it's the first time a drone is engaging me this turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So beautiful, in fact. That it might be worth it to go one, two, three, four. Play. Well, yeah, yes, it is. Three. Four. Play Nick. Draw three cards. Beating up would be nice, except that drones now have double the attack and hit points. So that's an issue. But I'm okay with that. One, two, three. Agile flight. Remove five threat. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. And then discard Spider Man. To attack with Blade, attack with Nick, attack with Thor, 2-2-2, two, 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 that defeats all the drones. Navigation remove, one's threat. And one damage on Nick. Ready? And we're good. Okay, all we gotta do now is just battle through 27 hit points. And we pretty much win at that point. Okay, one on. He no longer puts drones into play now. He just full on attacks. So at this point, the drones are quiet. So four block with Nick. Five, there's no drones in play. Encounter card. Advanced Ultron drone. So I do draw two cards from that. And power drain. When defeated, discard two cards from the encounter deck. Each player must choose and discard one resource of any type from the hand for each boost icon. Wow, that's nasty. Okay. Turn nine. Um. Okay, this drone's a bit of a problem. I don't actually have enough health damage. Well, I can actually go Quake and then. I go two to play Quake. This got this. That allows him to attack. Two, four. So that alone defeats the drone. Which causes a drone to spit out. It makes me draw two more cards. Because this is the first time I encounter a drone in this phase. Nice. Then I go one, two. I doesn't take any damage. It's because of the thingy. I punch this drone. Then go one, two, three. Concussive blow. Oh, he's already confused though. Hold on, he's already confused. So in that case, I'm better off doing playing counter intelligence. Oh, I can do interrogation room, by the way. Um, I mean, I may as well actually to still do concussive blow, three damage, and then I'm actually going to flip down. Actually, then that next I can hopefully heal up. You know? Alright. Got one hammer throw. Adds two on. I am actually going to counter intelligence that. Okay, goes to scheme. 
that breaks. Count the card. Drone comes into play. All right, drone's not an issue. Here for four. Now. I'm not trying to see what's the best way to, what's the best way to maximize this. I actually should get Coulson out to be honest. Because Coulson will allow me to get rid of Power Drain. I can Lightning Strike. Well, the Lightning Strike does no damage against him because it does that at the same time. So that's kind of useless actually, isn't it? Yeah, it actually is. Okay. Seeing that, I'm going to go one, two, three, play Coulson to pull back counterintelligence into my hand. Coulson will, uh, before I do that, two, three, to play hammer throw. No, hold on. One, two, three. Hammer throw. No. All I'm trying to do. I'm trying to see what's the best way to actually. I went one, two, three. What's that? There's a good chance I'm going to flip a boost icon, so I'm going to discard cards from my hand. Now, if I can somehow. But I think, let me just double check the ruling on this. It happens simultaneously. Yeah, so until this drone is defeated, now I could, if I have Quake Attack, if that she falls off the board, that's one issue, then she falls off, but then I can hammer throw straight into him. And then play Mjolnir back out. I think that's the play. She attacks for two. That defeats this minion. Then I go two, three, hammer throw. Deals eight damage. Mjolnir comes back by uses to play Mjolnir. Olsen thwarts for two. Gets rid of this one. Two cards from your card deck. It doesn't matter what flips over because I have no cards left in my hand. That's gone. And the next turn, one of them has to take the hit from me. I'm um, up to five, right? Yeah. Okay. As one attacks four plus. Ooh. Um, black with Coulson, I guess. 
six. Each player puts the top card drawn comes to play. I draw two more cards. Advanced Ultron Drone. Okay. Well, this is good to know. I really wish I could like squeeze out one more damage from Blade or something. Lightning Strike doesn't do any damage because he cannot take damage while a drone unit is in play. So the drones have to be fully clear for Lightning Strike to actually damage him. But if I go one and three, wow, that defeats the Ultron drone. A drone minion comes to play. I draw two cards because I you draw engaging me this t this phase. Okay. And I death focus lightning lightning at lightning strike to deal two damage to both of these that defeats the drones. Navigation rune cleans the threat. Okay. Two Three, Concussive Blow, three damage, Confuse, and then one, two, Pattern Intelligence. And then do I flip down and just go for the big turn next turn? I think so. He's Confused, pull out Pattern Intelligence. Yeah, we flip down. Do I want Lady Sif in my hand at all? Nah. We need, we need to maximize hammer throws. Zero hammer throws. Great. Great. Great hand. That's a good hand. As one tries to scheme, breaks. Counter card. Ultron drones. Good thing there are no drones in play right now. I don't even know what to do with this hand, how bad this hand is. I'm just going to heal for four. Flip up. Uh, this has got a cause for him to attack for two. Beat him up. From one. Beat him up from one. Nah. Uh, one, two, three, just put an agile flight. Oh, shall I get rid of this? Nah. Oh my god. Okay. One on. Oh, hello there. That ran out. So that means there should be two on then because of the acceleration token that would have come out. Oh, my concussive blow is not like. I think I think concussive blow might this time, right? Is that confusion not coming out or something? Oh no, he, he did the last one. I'm, I'm, I'm silly. It just happened so quickly. I'm just like, okay. Uh, okay. Attacks for four plus. I am going to block with blade. Five damage. Count the card. The villain attacks four plus five, brings me down to nine. Okay. Well, this hand's kind of blare. I don't even have a what's it called. I just realized that. Thor's helmet gives me five hit points.
play quick. I'm actually going to play... So I'm going to keep Agile Flight and discuss that instead. Uh, attack for two, attack for three, bring him down to five. And I think that's it. I draw four. Okay, we have enough damage now that we can potentially win the game. The issue is I have to take a hit, right? Yeah. Let's think this through for a second. I can add our flight. I can spider man. Spider-Man can do four damage, so I need to squeak out one damage somehow. All right, two on. Goes to attack, block with uh, Quake. Quake is defeated. And counter card. It's got an upgrade or support you control. I will discard counter intelligence. All right, one, two, three. Adds our flight, gets rid of the full threat. I'm trying to think of any way I can, there's no way. Attack for three. And then boom, boom, play Spider-Man attack. That will finish him off. So for this game, We have turn 14, 17 hit points, but zero and zero. So it was a bit of a, of a long one, but it worked out.